And, uh, now the floor is yours, Madam Anderson. Thank you, President. The multiannual financial framework has not actually been decided, so this debate on 2014 budget guidelines appears to be premature. That aside, and given the economic situation of Europe, I believe it is now time to perform a cost-benefit analysis in regards to the whole of the EU budget. That cost-benefit analysis should start with all the many institutions that have been growing like mushrooms in the last decade. Take, for example, the EAS, the European External Action Service. What is the benefit that this institution brings to European citizens? Baroness Ashton has said that it will not replace national embassies. Great. So why do we need it? And the Committee of Regions, has it actually helped regions develop their economies? No, it doesn't sound so. If the, EU, if the EU really wanted to help member states and taxpayers, it would simply abandon budget lines that have no added value. But this won't happen. We will only continue to spend our time trying to window dress little cuts here and there. Thank you. Thank you very much and on behalf of the non